Okay, so, hi guys. I just made a video, um, somewhat recent, and edited it with my daughter. Um, I just got a shower and bleached my hair, so I kind of look like a hot mess. But I just kind of wanted to touch base, um, since I do want to not just make this channel about, you know, Onis Yan, which there's so many things I have to say about that, which I might do a video on, but, um, definitely mental health. Um, so I guess I'm just going to disclose some more information than I have before. Um, so I do go to like a group therapy for the PTSD and I do see a psychiatrist now and a therapist, but, um, They've all been saying I've been getting better and they've been noticing, but honestly, there's been times where I feel like it's mm, not getting worse or better. It's kind of just at a standstill. Now, I think the main reason I want to make this video is I've had a very eye-opening experience in the past, like, two weeks. I know, sorry, I'm videotaping this on the floor. Um... Just because my daughter saw. But, like, I think I realize, like, sometimes the way my PTSD can affect me is different than I thought. I mean, I knew triggers, and I will get into videos more about that. Um, because I do want to... I mean, that's my career choice. That's what I'm working on getting my degree with. So, it's like, I do want to spread awareness. Um, lately I've just noticed extreme irritability and it's, I guess I'm just going to say it. Um, there was somebody that hurt me very bad. I am not going to disclose just because of any legal reasons, but the trial for that person is coming up and it's a huge stressor for me. So I found like, even when I'm at work, my brain's ping ponging in 10 different directions. Um, you know people I'm close with sometimes it's hard for me to answer the phone and it's like so even though I have a support system and I'm very blessed and I'm a lot of good friends um I've had a lot of people too through the internet reach out to me and say like oh you know like he posts a lot and that's like brave of you I don't really think it's so brave I think it's me trying it's not only, like, help myself understand what I'm going through, but also if anybody else is going through anything like this. I mean, I'm no war veteran. Um, my CPTSD is from a lot of different things. But at the end of the day, I mean, it is a struggle, but there's always hope that it'll get better. Like, at the end of the day, you know, I'll do stuff with my daughter. Um, I do a good job at work. I try to focus on the positives, but it is okay to sometimes not be okay. And I think I just want to make a quick video about that because the past, I mean, two weeks, especially with some of the stuff before his trial, it, it's been rough and, you know, it's a very alone feeling, but you're not alone. I mean, I, I would hope you're not. And if you are, um, you know, I'm sure there there's tons of resources, and I do want to make I want to make this just a kind of short and sweet video, just touching base. But um, you know, I did say before how like when I would have my panic attacks, it would kind of like, you know, I'd focus on something good. Lately, it's kind of like my brain is dwelling on what I'm panicking about. And I'm trying to learn from it, but I guess my main message of this video, instead of doing a video, as I said, on like Onision or some weird person or like, you know, an arts and crafts video, just keep your head up. Um, whether you have anxiety disorder, PTSD, like there's always hope, you know, all medications may not work. And you know, I have very mixed emotions on some medications myself, but like, you know, there's always outlets to help. It, it, it might not go away, but it can get better and it can get bearable. Um, I think it's important to remember that, especially when you're going through things. Um, like I know today, um, some random things set it off for me. Like I still have a hard time answering my phone sometimes. Like I've had over 
98 unread text messages. People take it personally. People get mad at me. I've noticed people even, I'm pretty sure I can tell most of the time, but like unsubscribe because they think that's like all I made it for is because I wanted them to, sub which it has nothing to do with it. This is about me trying to share my strength and hope. If I can make it through half the things I made it through at the age of 27, and not only am I okay, I mean, I do I have a lot of bad days, but I am a good mom. I can keep a job. I couldn't always say that. And they did try to get me to get disability multiple times, still do. Um, there's nothing against that. But it's like, you know, I always try to persevere. And at the end of the day, I just wanted to put out a positive message to anybody that may be going through anything. Um, keep your head up. Things will get better. And you are not alone. And please leave a comment down below if you are feeling anything like that, um, no matter what your circumstances. My Instagram also I will link. So if you are feeling bad, you can direct message me on there too. Um, you know, I think my, my channel is going to be a hodgepodge of things. It's going to be a bunch of different things. I just love YouTube in general. But for anybody that feels like they have nobody or anybody that feels hopeless, keep your head up. Remember, things will get better. Um, you know, work, I've been struggling a little bit, as I said, but I still make it there. Some days I look crazy when I'm there, but, um, you know, I get my job done and I, my child is well taken care of. And at the end of the day, I couldn't be more grateful for that. So if there's anybody else that needs any type of support, please feel free. I will link my Instagram down below and please subscribe because I do plan on making videos about mental health at least two times a week. Um, not just PTSD related, but general anxiety disorder, borderline personality disorder, they all kind of go inside. So just wanted to send out a little bit of positive energy for everybody out there, especially with a lot of things going on in the world. Um, and I really hope that people are able to get the help and resources they need, which again, feel free to message me personally on Instagram. I will answer immediately, but I hope you guys all have a great night and I will make a video shortly. Bye.